Welcome everyone to my channel, I'm Daniel, I hope you had a fantastic day and I hope you had enjoyed these last episodes that I'm putting out really. I'm so thankful for the support really and today we got the second part of Paris Nice, we got stage number 5, the game tells us this is a flat stage but we got a little bit of a hill so let's see if that is making a difference or, or not. If not, we got Mosquete and we're going to try something with him. So guys, here we are at the start of the stage, we got the second category climb, 5 kilometers to go to that and uh, it is a rainy day here in Paris. We got some guys with very nice race days, which is good, Sh such as Molem and Port with a plus 3, Nicholas Egg with a plus 3 as well, and here Kenny Ellison, I don't know if I can get the maximum points here but I'll try but these guys are making difficult we'll see we'll see if they can hold, hold on to me as if Jose is gone Konosfroy has attack but I cannot catch up Damn it. I cannot catch up and he's going to pass at the front of this climb. We are taking second place here, so more points to us, but it's not the maximum one, so it's not good. We are now at second place, just behind Benoit Konisfroy. Konisfroy? I don't know. With 11 points. We are with 9 points, yeah. And now 5 kilometers to the next category climb, this one is a third one so it's less points available of course. And this time I will do this differently, I will not pace at the front of this group and I will just hang on and hopefully I can follow the attacks. But I'm not the best at acceleration so I cannot do that really. Let's attack now, see if I can do something. No, but I, I lose too many energy right there. Fuck me. Yep, I'm gone. Oh my god, so, so bad for me. Yep, Benoit is gone. So let's take second place again. Just four points behind Benoit. Uh, I'm just going to say his first name, sorry. <laughs> so guys, here we are the next climb. I see if we can do better now because I'm not I'm not doing very well in these climbs. Maybe a very high pace will do the job, I don't know. Because this guy is hanging very well behind me, so then he attacks and I'm out of energy. I really don't know what to do. You see, he attacks now. I'm not going to attack. Oh, okay, now I'm going to attack, but it's not enough. Or is it? Come on, Kenny. Come on. No. Second place again, damn it. Not enough. Once again, we are just four points behind him. Come on, Kenny. So, guys, next climb here. Five kilometers to go. And again, uh, at this point I don't know what to do, I don't know if I relay, if I stay on the wheel of Benoit, but I don't know. Uh, maybe this time I will try to stick to this wheel, maybe use an energy gel, so that I can get, I don't know, and they attacking. I'm not going to attack, because this is very steep right now, one kilometer to go. They are getting away. Come on, Kenny. This Benoit guy, how can he go so fast for so long? And damn it, and I still have energy left. <laughs> second once again. And we, we are going to stay at second place. So guys, last, less than 4 counters to go. I'm just in the wheel of one of the sprinters really because that's my only hope right now 
and uh, we'll see. I mean, the wheel of Dino Grunwagen and it starts to sprint now, but of course, I cannot do nothing. Maybe a sixth place. Sam Bennett is the winner, and we got sixth place with Moschetti, which is not bad. But yeah, another race that wasn't for us, but at least we got the points for the climbers classification, which is good. Yeah guys, in the end, I just chose the, the, the wrong wheel of Dylan Grunwagen, just came in third place. We came sixth place, not good of course, but at least the climbers classification, we are on the fight for that, second place. So let's go to the next one. So guys, stage number 6 now, it's a hill stage, a lot of climbs, second category especially. Let's see if Porty is on a good day and the others as well to help him. Let's go! So guys, here we are at the start of the stage and we see a minus 3 for Boca Molema, which is not good at all. I thought that he was our main guy for this stage because of course he likes these hilly stages. But as we see... Maybe we need to go with Port to try and save our position, really. And I'm trying to get in the breakaway, but our guy Kenny Allison is too far back in the peloton. I cannot get him to the front of the peloton to attack. It's very difficult because the pace is really high right now. Let's see if we can get him in the breakaway. And... Oh my god, we got second, I think. No, we got third on the... Um, on this first climb, I I didn't have any hopes because the peloton was with the pace so high and the, the breakaway was far away, but they catch them up and still got some points, which is good, so that we cannot lose too many points to, to the guy that is in front, that is Benoit, you know, the guy Benoit, but yeah, not bad. We make it to the first group, but the pace is so high from the Ghent and the Tony Galopin who just joined us, so they passed us right away, which is not good. But yeah, let's try to stay in this little group here with Benoit and with New Spolit so that we can win some points. So we catch the guys at the front and the pace now slows down. Good for us to regain some energy, we got three counters to the climb, finish. And yeah, of course, those guys that just arrived will be in much better fitness than us, but it's still uh, 5 points, 5 slots available, so yeah, let's try to get at least 2 points, 1 point, I don't know, we'll see. And I'm not going to follow the attacks because it's not possible really, I cannot follow, so no points for us. So 2 kilometers away to the next climb, next category climb and um, again we are out of energy already, I don't know if we can uh, score any points really, we'll see. The pace is really high right now and of course I'm getting behind, my god, we are attacking, let's try to attack but I cannot even attack, oh god, this is not good. And Kenny Lison is on a minus one day, so again, it's not ideal, of course. And Benoit scored points in this one. Yeah, first place as well, so not good for us, really. We are not very well placed right now. So guys, I didn't bother anymore, and uh, I just uh, wait for the peloton, because of course uh, I was going nowhere. I was out of energy and I'm still out of energy because the peloton just raised the pace so yeah let's see if Ellison can help uh, our teammates we are entering our fourth category climb right now and the, the pace on the peloton is very fast really with this terrain it is a lot of ups and downs my guys are not the best in terms of fitness like the ones are protecting are almost out of energy so yeah let's see if I can hang on with some of them to the final climb so here we are on the next climb 
and uh, I think I, I decided myself Richie Port is the one because Malemo on a minus three which is not good. His stats are not good right now, so he's going to protect Port until the finish. I'm trying to hold on with Nicolas Egg, but it's not possible as well. So I only left with two guys right now, Malema in port, and Malema is not even hanging on right now, so let's try to follow port. Is that possible? If not, I don't know what to do. Yeah, let's try to protect, because even on following, Malema is not capable of following. So yeah, Taugan are now at the front, pacing really high. And Malema is gone, let's use this J Oh fuck no! Damn it, I used the wrong gel and I used the gel on port. Fuck's sake, come on. Again, my mistake. I cannot do that. So guys, approaching the last category climb of the day. And we only have 24 riders on the peloton. We have two of them. And uh, let's try to gain a good position with Port. Uh, I'm not trying to win the stage really. If I can, it's, uh, it's very good, but I just want a good place in the GC. And the first attacks are coming. David Godru attacks, followed by Fuglsang. Let's try to pace it here with Port, so that we don't lose too many positions. But we are losing, it's not good. And Malema is out almost. But he was a really good help in these final stages of the stage, really. But yeah, we are alone with Port. No one got away, really. So let's try to stick to this group. And now it's Thomas de Ghent attacking. Less than 10 kilometers to go. Of course, they are going for the stage win. And uh, I'm trying maybe to follow Garen Thomas. He's a good rider for today. Let's try to follow it with Port, if that's possible. We've got an intermediate sprint here, which is uphill. And, Grant, and oh my god, Richie Port just fall. Richie Port has just fallen. Really? Come on, game, why are you doing this? Please do not withdraw. Oh no. Richie Port has just withdraw. Oh my god, no. I cannot believe it. Richie Port is gone. Our only hope. No, well, that's it for us in this party's needs, really. Rest, let's try to get a good position with Moka Malema now. Oh my god, no. Let's hope he's not, he's not injured for too many time, really. That's so unlucky, really. I don't know what to say. We don't have any luck right now. So guys, in the end, Michael Matthews is the winner, and David Godou comes second, and Garen Thomas in third place, seven seconds behind the winner, and Richie Port withdraws from Paris Nice. This was his race, and it's just withdraw with a fall on a descent on the final kilometers of the stage. On the general classification, Egan Bernal is still the leader. Boca Molem is now 19th, two minutes behind, so it's going to be difficult to get a good position with him, but let's try. And so, guys, here we see Richie Port. We will have just to rest for a few days. Sprain wrist. Really? That was his cause of withdrawal? Can he not hang on a little bit? Come on. So yeah, he, he will be out until the beginning of April. He will miss Lota Ciclista Catalunya and so on. It's a shame really, because he was on a really good fitness peak and I, I really thought that we can do something with him on the mountain. But oh well, let's continue. So guys, after that last devastating stage, with Richie Port got injured. Let's go now to the Queen stage of Paris Nice, a really big mountain stage, and let's simply try to get a good result with Boca Molema, really. Maybe a top 10 is pretty good. And so, right here at the beginning of the stage, the peloton is so 
mad right now with the pace that my guys are really are struggling but it was because that was a second breakaway that the peloton didn't want to get out really so that's good they stopped now because if not the pace was so high I could not hang but yeah Pokemon I'm on a minus today again not good but we'll try our best to put him on a good position Kenny Allison is on a plus 2 I don't think he's that good as Bokamolema besides he had a minus day Bokamolema but still I think he's better than Allison so guys 20 kilometers to go now and this is it the last climb of today the big one we're starting now we have 4 guys at the front but in reality, we only have three because Nicholas Egg is out of energy already. Let's see if we can get a good place with Molema, really. My guys does not have the, the best rank here, but we'll see. Tim Wellens is attacking now. And I think he's going for the stage, I don't know, but my main goal is just hang on at the peloton, really, and get a good result. And right now, we are doing that. We are hanging on. Not very good, but we are, so that's what's matter. And Polank at the head of the peloton, setting up the pace now. Of course for um, Pogacar, maybe. We are now right here. Molem is getting behind a little bit. Look at the yellow. So low right now. I hope it will be a bit better, but okay. And Kenny Alisson as well, I don't think Kenny will help us too much but oh well we are hanging on less than 9 kilometers to go now and Bernal is attacking Bernal is attacking I cannot follow that pace so let's try to, to put ourselves a pace here with Molema and now Julian Bernard is gone so let's protect with Kenny Bernard thank you for your service but you're out Energy gel to Kenny Allison, 7 kilometers to go, and it's not looking good really. That yellow of Molema is so low right now. But come on Molema, I know I know you're a guy that likes to set up the pace and not attacking, so I'm doing that, but we are very far right now. And we are losing too much yellow for my taste. Let's try to hang on here on this group. But it's not possible. Molema is out as well. Let's try to hang on here with Ura and Matthias Frank. In the front, Bernal and Fogelson are the better guys right now. Pogacar in third. Miguel Angel Lopez, but we are catching up. Oh no. But maybe a top 10 it is. I don't know. We'll see. If we can get a top 10. There are still two kilometers to go, and in the front, Ekan Bernal is is attacking, but is out of energy as well as Fogelson. These two are fighting for victory right now, and Pogacar in third. I think that's Seto now, and we are getting behind, which is not good. We are getting behind right now. Come on, Malema, come on, catch up with these ones. Last kilometer right in front of us. Evanna Paul, Ellison and Tim Wellens are behind us, but come on Malema, it's the last stretch, come on, 99 now, come on Malema, it is a hate place for Malema, I think that's good, we set ourselves for a top 10, so I'm happy with that, can Ellison that 12th place, with all the circumstances and with all the... Um, with all the things that happened last stage and this one as well, so I think we are happy with the 8th place with Bokamolema, really. And here are the results for this stage number 7. Egan Bernal is the winner, and the, of maybe is the winner of Paris Nice. Fogelsang at 2nd, Pogacar in 3rd. Rigobert Turin came in 4th place, and we just came in 8th place with Bokamolema, 2 minutes and 34 seconds down. Like I said earlier, it's not bad really, and we just finished at 10th place on the GC, so 
I'm happy with that really since we got Richie Port that got injured and we draw so yeah our second guy in the top 10 is pretty good and he had a minus two day so it, he is not fit right now so it's a very good result on the mountains we just came short at second place with half the points of the first one with 25 and teams in sixth place yeah it is not bad it could be better of course but with port injured Pokamalema did really good in 10th place so guys finally the last stage of Paris Nice from Nice to Nice and uh, it's a hill stage because of those climbs in the middle first category and second category and then a first and a third one so yeah the terrain is not that easy and I'm hoping to see some attacks towards the, the, the last few climbs and uh, yeah I think the general classification is almost done if not we'll try to do something but yeah let's go so guys here we are start of the race we already passed the intermediate sprint 12 guys in the breakaway we've got none of our riders in it and uh, our guys are pretty good day really plus one for Nicolas Eck, plus two Julian Bernard plus four Michel Ries and uh, plus three for Ellison so overall it's a pretty good day for our guys let's see if that means something in the end one counter to go now for the summit of this climb and I'm pulling it all out really let's attack with, with my whole team come on let's go nah, I'm making a madness but I don't care really right now I don't have anything to lose so yeah my whole team will pass it at the front and try to get some uh, space between the peloton and us we'll see of course it's not gonna happen nothing right now but at least i think we are reducing the advantage to the breakaway a little bit but i think the breakaway may got this and yeah breeze is giving all out really two minutes down already so yeah the job is getting done really 20 kilometers to go for us. One counter to the summit. Let's go, Bernard. Give all out right now. And we created a breakaway. That's what I wanted. Come on. I created a breakaway right now so everyone will relay at the front, really. Can we get some time? This is a team effort, really. Garen Thomas attacked and catches really fast. Now Casper Asgreen is chasing us, we just have 19 seconds which is not good. And right now we got 16 seconds, we are losing time to the peloton. Come on guys, come on, come on. We are 2 kilometers away, the breakaway has just win it. Matthias Frank is the winner, Mohoric at second. And us are coming right and the peloton is just here. The peloton just caught us right at the finish line. Sam Bennett is the fourth and we in the end didn't win any time oh well we tried at least and yeah guys in the end the breakaway just won this last days of Paris Nice Matthias Frank was the winner Sam Bennett was the first in the peloton we tried to get some times on that downhill but in the end we didn't do nothing really so at the GC we finished 10th place with Boca Malema 4 minutes and 50 seconds behind Egan Bernal, who is the winner of Paris Nice of this year. On the climbs, we tried with Kenny Ellison, but we just finished at 5th place. Benoit was the real winner here. But yeah, guys, this is it for Paris Nice. We did absolutely nothing. The best thing was the 10th place with Boca Malema. I really don't know if I'm happy or if I'm upset with this, really, because of the injury of Richie Port but that's done so next we got our sponsor objective Tirreno Adriatic so it will be our next episode a stage rage we need to get first place and we are trying to do that with the Vicenzo Nibali really so guys this is it for this episode thank you so much for sticking with me 
Thank you so much for all the support, for all these episodes. I'm really thankful for that, really. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, and of course, stay safe. Bye-bye.